Here at home, church leaders coming together to call for a stop to the violence across the country. A group took to the streets with community members for a march on Detroit's east side. Megan Woods is live for us tonight, and Megan, they hope that the march is at least one step towards bringing more awareness to what they're trying to do. That's right, and that group started their march here at Baldock Park, and along the way, they stopped at gas stations, schools, basketball courts, you name it, with their powerful message. Stop the violence, increase yes. the peace. Pastor Gregory Kirby of Strictly God's Business Ministries is on a mission. We got to make our community safe. It's not, if it's not safe for the children, it's not safe for any of us. He says the 19 children and two teachers killed in Uvalde, Texas, Tuesday was his final straw. We are tired of losing our babies. He decided to march. To try to combat some of the crime and murder that's going on in Detroit, because we live in Detroit, but also our hearts are with the people in Texas. His family, congregation, including children the same age as those victims, are marching with him. We cannot stand idly by and continue to watch our children be murdered. They didn't just march, they also prayed. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let this basketball court be full of joy and peace, God. They want change for the country and most importantly for Detroit. We need to call on our Congress people, the people who are standing against common sense gun law reforms, you know, background checks. God restore the east side of Detroit. Restore the north side of Detroit. And that group walked for miles. They hope that anyone in their path, whether they were driving by or walking by, get inspired to be the positive change that they want to see in their community and speak up when they see violence. Live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4.